Hello everyone, Celtic Fairy Tarot back with another pick a card reading and today we are going to be stepping out into the unknown energetically of course and we are going to try to predict what is going to happen if you were to take this leap of faith or if you were to step out into the unknown. What is waiting there for you? We have pile one. We have Pile 2. And we have Pile 3. Take your time vibe out which pile is calling to you and the timestamps are down below can't wait to get into it hello pile one you have chosen photo number one and the first thing i was drawn to in this photo was the stone wall and the fact that the tree and the open sky stood behind it the sky is also a bit gray yeah it feels like surreal and detached for me mm. I'm getting like Cheshire Cat energy, like I feel like the Cheshire Cat is going to <laughs> pop up on that wall any second. Yeah, I feel like navigating this specific energy of the unknown is going to be really tricky. And there's a need to stay focused, stay focused on your goals, stay committed, stay motivated. Um, let's get more information. Let's see, like a lot of tests or a lot of a lot of things may trigger you and how you adapt to those triggers or how you handle those triggers is going to be important. Hmm. I'm hearing you have a new compass. Like I'm hearing you've tried to navigate the unknown before and you may not have done as well as you'd liked and that and that's why there's a little bit of nervous energy here to step back out into the unknown because you're like i've done it before and it didn't work out for me but what your spirit team is saying is you have a brand new compass <laughs> you have a new set of skills pile one you have new perspectives you are not the same person that you were navigating the unknown Okay, Spirit Team of Pile 1, what is waiting in the unknown for Pile 1, please? Thank you. Wow, we have the King of Feathers or the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very disciplined, very disciplined. The King of Swords is a bit head over heart. Um, so again, I feel like there are going to be triggers in this unknown space, things that are going to trigger you. Maybe people that are going to trigger you or circumstances that are going to trigger you. They could trigger fear. They could trigger doubt. They could trigger self-doubt, um, whatever it is for you. But there's a need to, to stay steady and stay focused in this unknown, in this paradigm, because you can traverse it. <laughs> there is a need to have confidence here. You have everything within you. It's like how your spirit team is showing me like a sea captain who has all the experience and all the credentials and everything that they could ever need they've done you know the best of the best schooling and they've worked with the masters of you know captaining boats i don't know <laughs> um but they still have self-doubt and there's someone talking to them and they're like listen you have all of the wisdom and all of the knowledge you've got this there is just a need to believe in yourself there's just a need to trust yourself and really listen to yourself because i feel like when you become triggered there is a possibility that you could abandon self or abandon your narrative or abandon your own intelligence abandon your own emotions so staying firm and staying true to you and staying focused on the goal of stepping into the unknown is key here because we all have a reason for wanting to step into the unknown. Either we feel stagnant and we need to grow. Either we feel pain and we need to heal. Either we feel oppressed and we need freedom. Whatever the reason is for you, whatever the goal is, whether it's a career, a relationship, freedom, whatever that looks like for you, stay focused on that goal, okay? 
All right. Spirit team of pile one. What is waiting in the unknown for pile one, please? I feel like the owl represents hidden messengers too. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of help for you from your spirit team on this path here. We have the hanged man in reverse and the hanged man in reverse talks about stalling. It talks about a needless sacrifice. And I feel like the needless sacrifice in the unknown is what I was saying before. I feel like you have a tendency, pile one, to abandon self or abandon your own narrative or not trust that your perception of reality is the truth. There could be a lot of people here who have been gaslit literally their whole lives. So they're like, is my reality real? Is my perception of what happened real and again there's a real need to stay firm in who you are this doesn't mean that we can't question you know what we've experienced or hear out everybody's sides because that is the healthiest thing we can do pile one um but there is also a need to back ourselves to be supportive of self to be empowering self okay yeah like this people pleasing tendency, if it still exists, is not going to be able to come on this journey with you. Um, because if this people pleasing tendency comes on this journey with you, it's going to hold you back. It's going to anger you down. Okay. Let's see. Spirit team of pile one. What is waiting in the unknown for pile one, please? I feel like a good friend is also waiting for you in the unknown. In the movie, The Labyrinth, this creature was the sweetest. <laughs> the, such a sweet soul. And I feel like there is a friend waiting for you in the unknown, a, a person. Um, yeah, like a companion, a best friend. I really don't feel like this is romantic. I feel like this is a friend like a safe person, um, somebody who respects you, somebody who um, admires you, is inspired by you, and they inspire you, vice versa. It's a very give and take relationship. Yeah, coming in for you. Spirit team of pile one, what is waiting for pile one in the unknown, please? We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse talks about clinging to control. Um, and I really feel like, again, there has to be a navigation here. There has to be an intentional navigation. I'm reading this card like visually as well. And when we put it upright, we have these uh, kind of like booby traps, right? Uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying booby, but whatever. Um, there, there's all these booby traps and we have it in reverse. And I feel like these booby traps are your emotional triggers. One after another, after another, after another. And I think it's going to be again, important for you to kind of brace for this impact, brace for this. Have you ever heard the phrase, you're not healed, you're just isolated um, from your triggers? So it's going to really, this unknown is going to put to the test just how much you've, you've healed on your journey, just how much you have um, put into action what you've learned, what you've absorbed in isolation. Because I feel like you've been in isolation for so long. You are ready to come out. But I think that's going to be something that you're going to have to prove to yourself that you're ready to come out pile one. I don't want to um, tell you that you have to. You have free will. You don't have to. I can tell you that you are ready. Um, but this step is your step to take pile one into the unknown. That's why we wanted to go into this um, energy today. That's why you clicked on this video. This is why I created this video. <laughs> the energy of seeing um, this, this all unfold before stepping into it is hopefully going to give you a little bit of a sense of security, knowing that these triggers aren't here to deter you. These triggers are here to show you, um, how much healing work needs to be done still to this day and how much self love needs to come in, how much understanding of self still needs to come in. What is the goal? It's going to be a different goal for everybody, but what is the core energy of the goal here? Stepping out into the unknown, please. What is the overall goal that Pile 1 has for stepping into this unknown? I heard freedom. <laughs> 
Three of Cups in Reverse and the Knight of Cups in Reverse. The Three of Cups in Reverse can talk about um, overindulging. It can talk about gossip. And the Knight of Cups in Reverse can talk about the energy of being moody. I feel like you're stuck in an environment that is draining you. You're stuck in an environment that is constantly causing you to cycle. Like I'm hearing, I'm triggered here anyway. So why not be triggered out there? <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Like, I'm triggered here anyway. This is not working for me anyway. I'm anxious anyway. I'm um, overthinking anyway. But I feel like this is freedom. Something is going to give you freedom. Like, see that blockage, the wall in the photo that you chose, pile one? That is the fear. That is the doubt. That is the isolation keeping you stuck and stagnant. That is your current circumstances. Maybe the people around you gossiping all the time. Maybe the people around you... Um, really giving off this low vibrational energy and you're ready for a new approach and you're ready for a new way of being and you're ready to experience a different way of life. But I think this wall in front of you is that fear to take that next step, that fear to really trust yourself is what I would say. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, pile one. Okay, what is waiting in the unknown for pile one, please? Spirit team of pile one, thank you. We have the magician. Beautiful. And the magician can talk about desire. It can talk about creation. Like I'm hearing a whole new world. But again, it's like a battle versus your old identity and your new identity. Like, what is it that you want to create? What life is it that you want to create? What career is it that you want to create? Um, there really, again, needs to be a focus on self, not a focus on the past self, not a focus on the future self, a focus on your present self. What skills are you working with? What tools are you working with? And where can you go from there? Not trying to jump time timelines like 10 timelines ahead and not trying to fall back when this fear and when this doubt sets in. There's going to need like a need to be stable. Like I'm seeing, you know how when football players run into that pad or that mat or whatever and it causes resistance? Like there's going to be a need for you to be that mat. No matter what comes at you, no matter what trigger, no matter what doubt, no, no matter what fear, no matter what intrusive thoughts, there's going to be a real powerful need to stand steady. Pile one and really focus, hold that focus on what you want your life to look like, what you want yourself to look like, what you want your your relationships with others to look like, what you want your career to look like, all of that. Let's see, your relationship with the earth, what you want that to look like. Spirit team of pile one, what is waiting in the unknown for pile one, please? Oh, I heard Odin as well. Odin is waiting in the unknown for you. <laughs> There's a beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy. Odin is one of the most helpful guides I've ever had in my life. He has been with me for a very, very long time um, since I was a child. And he is both that tough love with that nurturing instinct. Um, he is just a very powerful soul to work with. He is very no-nonsense, but in the best way. He will help... Um, really bring out the skills within you, the strength within you, the endurance within you, and the resilience within you, the wisdom within you, okay? The knowledge of self as well. Um, Odin is amazing for traversing the subconscious mind. All right. Spirit team of pile one, what is currently waiting in the unknown for pile one, please? Thank you. Wow. 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 You take your life back, pile one. King of poles, king of wands, natural born leader. He overcomes challenges. He is passionate. He is creative. He is resourceful. He is <laughs> the vibe here. You are freeing yourself from something. I don't know if it's this. I really feel like it's this. Like low vibrational energy. Everybody's stuck and stagnant doing the same thing over and over again. We have the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles on the back of the deck talks about reciprocating energy. And it's just, I feel like, I feel like you've waited so long to be in control of your life, Pile One. I feel like you woke up one day and you were like, 
it, it all went by so quickly. I don't even remember most of it. I don't even remember like this feeling of being alive and enjoying life. And that's about to shift for you the second that you step out into the unknown pile one. But again, this has to be your step forward. You have to make this decision. And there needs to be the understanding that there are going to be triggers. There are going to be things that feel like resistance. Plow through them, pile one. <laughs> You have the skill and you have the perspective. You can do this. Okay? All right, Pile One, I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye. Hello, Pile Two. You have chosen photo number two, and curtains can symbolize secrets and privacy or shielding things from those close to you. The curtains coupled with the open window, it's giving me this feeling of relief, like a weight being lifted off my shoulders or oppression, just leaving the heart space, dissipating. This unknown doesn't feel tricky or scary. It feels like freedom. It feels like personal conviction, taking control of your life back, the ability to live with less restriction with how you are showing up in the world. Yeah, this unknown feels like a breath of fresh air. I'm sensing that you will come across situations that will leave you feeling anxious and insecure, and that's to be expected when you freshly step out of your comfort zone. Your sense of self may not be fully established, but really, who's fully is? <laughs> We're all always working on ourselves. We all grow and change all the time. Let the insecurity inspire you rather than let it convince you that you can't do it. Learn from experience. Yeah. Learn from the people around you instead of hiding away and feeling inadequate. Yeah, like, if, have you ever heard that phrase? Um, if you want to grow, be around the people you want to grow into. Let them motivate you. Let them mentor you and teach you. There's something about mentorship here maybe as well. I definitely feel that vibe. There could be a mentor waiting for you in the unknown, someone to really help you accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish stepping into the unknown. Let's see. Let's get more information. Yeah, it's like I'm finally allowing myself to be me. Like I'm seeing someone, um, how do I explain this? Like I'm seeing someone like cloaked and they walk into a room full of people and nobody can tell who they are. Nobody knows who they are. They have their hood on like Boba Fett, right? <laughs> and no one can see him or no one can hear him. And then all of a sudden he just rips the robe off and he's in his Jedi outfit and he's like, I'm here and I'm a Jedi. <laughs> That's the vibe. Like, it just, you know, coming out of your shell, stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Proving to yourself that you can do something. Proving to yourself that you're worth, like, people's attention. I feel like people are going to be paying attention to you. Let's see. All right. Spirit team of Pile 2. What is waiting for Pile 2 in the unknown, please? Thank you. Wow, we have the six of wands, victory and success. Yeah, like your spirit team isn't even questioning your capability. Pile one, there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of uh, questioning about whether or not they were ready to move forward, ready to take that step into the unknown. I feel like you've already got one foot in. <laughs> You've already got one foot in the unknown and you're just waiting to place that other foot there. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands and the Four of Wands talks about community, home, um, a happily ever after, a happy ending. And the fact that both of these cards came flying out is just magical to me. I feel like your root and your crown are really going to benefit from this as well. Um, yeah. How you believe in yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you communicate with yourself, how you treat yourself. This kind of is like giving me like higher self, present self vibes. Like your higher self is definitely waiting for you in the unknown. Absolutely waiting for you in the unknown. You're probably having a lot of higher self confirmation or higher self communication at the moment. Um, just trying to give you that loving push. <laughs> there, There is the energy of a loving push here. Let's see. Like I'm seeing that movie Onward. Um, 
I'm seeing that movie onward when the main character re like realizes that he had a dad the whole time. Like the whole movie is him trying to have a conversation with his dad and getting to do that and, you know, going through all these obstacles to get that done. And then there's a moment where he realizes his older brother was his father the whole time. And I kind of feel that vibe with your higher self. Like there's going to be a soul retrieval happening in the unknown. There's going to be a really established sense of self waiting in the unknown for you. Spirit team of pile two. What is waiting in the unknown for pile two, please? Really getting to, yeah, what's that, for, what's that, what's that quote from Treasure Planet? You got the makings of greatness in you. You've got the makings of greatness in you, but you've got to, what is it? You've got to, I don't know. You've got to grab the wheel or take the helm. I don't know. Uh, and chart your own course. <laughs> that is the vibe here. You're going to, you're going to really watch yourself chart your own course. You are going to, to impress yourself with, um, the, the work that you've done, the skill that you have acquired along the way. You've been doing a lot of work recently, whether it's shadow work, whether it's developmental work, whether you've been taking classes in something, you are really going to watch yourself shine. And, and I'm just getting a little bit of emotional because <laughs> I don't think you've really been able to sit in this energy in a long time, if ever, pile two. I feel like you've always been the one hiding away. You've always been the one afraid to let yourself shine or being put down by the people around you and if stepping out into the unknown you will be stepping out into a paradigm where you are celebrated rather than anchored down okay in the unknown into the unknown there's something here like i'm seeing someone polish a diamond i'm seeing someone like polish a diamond let's see Spirit team of pile two. What is waiting in the unknown for pile two, please? All right, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse can talk about only uphill from here. Yeah, this unknown is not going to be scary at all. You're going to watch yourself thrive one day at a time. You are going to, even if there are obstacles, because life is obstacles, right? Like anyone that tells you that life is going to be sunshine and rainbows all the time is a liar. <laughs> because life is supposed to be hard. It's designed that way to help us grow. It's not supposed to be hard all the time, and it's not supposed to be as hard as it is sometimes, um, but there's always going to be obstacles, and I think you're going to really impress yourself with how much you move past them and how quickly you move past them. Yeah, we have the chariot, how quickly you move past these obstacles. You're going to thrive, and you're going to surprise yourself at how well you thrive. I think there's been a lot of self-doubt in your life. I don't think you've had the encouragement and the motivation from others, the people around you, um, to really cultivate you. And I think now you're ready. You found that cultivation, whether you gave yourself that cultivation, whether somebody else has given you that cultivation, you're ready pile two and you're brilliant. Okay. We also have here the world. Yeah. Closure. The world can talk about feeling fulfilled. It can talk about harmony. That's what's waiting for you in the unknown harmony, freedom, you're happily ever after, you feeling like the champion that you are. I'm hearing we are the champions by Queen. Yeah. You finally feeling like the powerful soul that you are pile to. That is what's waiting for you in the unknown and having all of the opportunities to show yourself that. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that here, pile two. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye. Hello, pile three. You have chosen photo number three and swings can symbolize freedom, happiness, and the inner child. It's likely this path through the unknown could lead you to the life your inner child always dreamed of. I'm seeing the show American Ninja Warrior, like a very difficult obstacle course, and this tells me that the unknown before you will be full of ups and downs. Ups as a reward for the hard work that you put in, and downs to give you the opportunity to learn more and fine-tune your skills. There are always going to be obstacles in life, but when you work hard, you stay focused, and you stay committed. And when you really trust yourself, Pile 3, you can move any mountain in your way. You can move any mountain in your way. This unknown is going to require grit and endurance and a fight harder than any fight you've ever fought. 
It will ultimately lead you to your emotional and physical freedom, and you will be fighting this fight for you and only you. This really feels like a pile that is stepping out of their safe space base like like uh maybe you're just moving out of the house uh, maybe you're getting ready to move out of the house maybe you're getting ready to leave a, a long-term relationship that you've been in and this has been your comfort space or your comfort zone for a long time it just feels like stepping out into the world independently as you are that is the vibe here that is the unknown so some of you could be um you know, looking to, again, leave a long-term relationship. Some of you could be looking to leave a long-term career. Some of you could be looking to leave a long-term living situation, um, a long-term maybe parental connection. I don't know what it is for, for each individual person, but it feels like kind of traversing the world alone for the first time or the perception of traversing the world independently for the first time. There's a fear um, and your spirit team wants you to know there will be ups and downs. There are always going to be ups and downs in life. Um, the ups are going to be amazing and they are going to be celebrated, but the downs, they shouldn't be feared. Um, they should be welcomed as they are are an opportunity for you to learn something new or experience something new okay i'm not seeing like you know heavy downs i'm not seeing like chaos and and you know the deep dark downs that downs can get to i'm just simply seeing obstacles to overcome i'm seeing you know new ways of being figuring out how to um pay certain bills uh because maybe your partner used to pay those bills um figuring out how to uh, navigate learning a new career uh, because you've been doing the same thing for so long it's all you know whatever it is for you it's it, you're on the precipice of independence is what this feels like the unknown is really going to lead to your stability in your own independence so let's get more information I feel like there's also this idea that you've never been fully independent in your life. You could have always been dependent on one thing or one person or one home or one this um, in your entire life. I watched this couple with my husband on YouTube and they sold all of their things, all of their belongings, and they bought a houseboat and they just decided they were going to live in a houseboat for now. <laughs> And it's kind of like they were dependent on all of those things for so long and then made a drastic change. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. Again, either you're leaving a, a connection, you're leaving a home, you're leaving a state you've lived in for so long, a country you've lived in for so long, a job you've had for so long, whatever it is, it's like drastic change is what this feels like. Drastic change for the better of your inner child. Let's see. Okay. Spirit team of pile three. What is waiting in the unknown for pile three, please? Wow, the king of swords. The King of Swords is disciplined. The King of Swords is head over heart. Yeah, it's almost like you're... Whatever you have become emotionally dependent on that is keeping you stuck or keeping you angered or keeping you stagnant, that is what is falling away in this unknown. That is what is going to get further and further away in the distance, um, in the unknown. Because I feel like it's not a healthy dependence whatever this is. It's not a healthy emotional dependence. And you are going to start to form more of a logical dependence on self. And with that will follow that emotional dependence with self. Because when we can talk to ourselves logically in our mind, when we are overly emotional, it balances that out. Because it is important to be emotional. Being emotional is your superpower. You should never try to suppress that. But being able to almost ride it like a wave rather than be overcome by it is is what's waiting for you in the unknown complete dependence on self is what's waiting spirit team of pile three what is waiting for pile three in the unknown please there may be another pile here for you pile three we have the Knight of Hedgehogs, and the Knight of Pentacles can talk about hard work and efficiency. 
Yeah, I feel like, again, there are going to be ups and downs. You're going to be going up the ladder, down the ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, but it's going to be benefiting you. It's going to be helping you build this solid foundation below yourself um, to, to not have to depend on anything else anymore, because I feel like a lot of the trauma that you've endured in life has been because of the fact that you felt dependent on whatever this person was, this thing was. It could be a career. It could be a romantic connection. It could be a family member. It could be an ex, whatever it is. This emotional dependence has been keeping you feeling stuck and keeping you feeling like you can't provide for self or you can't feel stable within self. All right, spirit team of pile three. What is waiting in the unknown for pile three, please? We have the page of spears. Yeah, you've always just been painting the roses red. <laughs> Painting the rose is red. The page of spears or the page of swords talks about curiosity and restlessness. I feel like whatever this is, you can never wait to get away from it. Can't wait to leave this. I can't wait to be away from this. I can't wait to not be around this, whatever it is. And that's going to be your sign that that is what needs to fall away. That is what's kind of keeping you stuck, keeping you anchored. Can we clarify the page of spears? Can we have more information on what this energy is? I feel like you're going to know already what it is, but yeah, the Nine of Spears. The Nine of Swords can talk about anxiety, yeah, and I really feel that whatever is causing you the most anxiety in your life is really what you're trying to move away from. That's what you're trying to move away from right now, and I think that this unknown um, could be fearful. It could be frightful, if, especially if you resonated with another pile here. Um, but with hard work, with grit, with resilience, and with a strong sense of self here, um, you can do this and you can thrive, okay? It's like watching someone leave an abusive relationship or an abusive work environment or an abusive family life and then watching them thrive in the next healthy situation they end up in. That's what's going to happen here. And I think it can be scary. You know, sometimes you feel as though this is the only thing out there for you. This may be the only thing that you know. Um, this may be the only thing that you're good at. This may be the only thing that pays the bills or this may be the only thing that takes care of me or there may be a narrative in there that's like this is the only person that's ever going to love me and you are going to prove that wrong pile three in the unknown you are going to prove that wrong you are going to see how much skill and potential you have when you're really put to the test and you if as long as you can stay focused and committed to self as long as you can stay balanced in your logical and emotional energy those are going to be the keys to help you navigate those are going to be your compass the back of the deck energy is the eight of swords and the eight of swords talks about imprisonment yeah something's making you feel stuck and you're going to break those chains <laughs> when you decide to step out into the unknown. There is no rush. You don't have to do it today. You don't have to do it tomorrow. Um, but this really does feel like walking away from painting the roses red, walking away from something that just absolutely makes no sense why you're doing it. Okay. It feels like this is a waste of time in your life. You can sense it. You're like, why am I doing this every day? It's not benefiting me. That is the energy that is going to shift when you step out into the unknown. Any codependency that you had that is at an unhealthy level is going to fade away the second you step into this unknown and really start to prioritize self and really start to prioritize your own independence. Okay? All right, pile three. I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time.